Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with the new Renault Cup Tour and today I will make a full review for you interior exterior. I try to show you every single detail as possible and I hope you will enjoy it. By the way, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest uh, videos that's come on the market, the newest car and all that stuff. By the way, I'm right here at Renault in Switzerland at uh, Gallicher AG. So if you want to check out the cars and you want to see the price and stuff like that, if you are around Switzerland, check out on the website carplanet.ch. There you find all the cars, all the offers and stuff like that. But until then, guys, let's do and let's test, uh, let's review the car and we will talk at the end uh, and I will give you my impression. So let's do it, guys. So as always, guys, before we start reviewing, I want to give you some information about the price and stuff like that. So we have right here the Renault Cup Tour Edition 1 EDC. So we have the 1.3 liter uh, petrol engine uh, TCE and we have uh, 154 horsepower. Also the color, it's rouge, the ro red flame and um, yeah, uh, the basis price of the car is 31,500 francs around 31,000 dollars around there um, also here you can see the extra safety pack and option that you can add it on the car and you can see on this car was added all those uh, extra features and with all those extra features the price was 34,000 but guys you have a great great discount big discount if you come here at Gallicher Auto uh, and the price will be 30,900 francs around 30,000 dollars so that's a great great price for an SUV to be honest also the weight of the car 1451 kilograms uh, also uh, the consumption of the car around 6.6 yeah it's a big car that why it's in the b class efficient class uh, just to keep in mind so yeah now that we are finished with all that information let's go to the body and let's try to review the car the exterior i try to go in every single detail and i will show you also the interior in a moment but first time let me open up the lights because I want to show you the lights. I know most of you are really interested in how uh, the lights look like. And of course, we will go um, in the back and we will start in the back. Now, something that I want to tell you in the back, guys, the tail lights, the main tail lights, the red ones, you can see it, they are LED lights, so you can see it. And the design, it's pretty nice. I don't know about you, but I like the design of the light very much but the turning signals it's normal bulb light it's a nice kind of a plastic diffuse the light a little bit there but it's still a bulb light there so just keep in mind but here you have LED light and it looks super beautiful and also the design here on the side you have those lines that are also illuminated I don't know if you can see it right now it's a daytime but they are illuminated and it's beautiful I mean they look nice in the night they look super nice in the night Time, so just something to keep in mind uh, other than that beautiful triangles their rooms and stuff like that design on the light so the light in my opinion look good I mean they did a great design with the lights here on the right side we have the tank the petrol tank just keep in mind that it's on the right side uh, then going forward right here we have the Renault logo and Cup Tour uh, writing on the car the reverse camera right there in the middle of the Renault logo uh, we have wipers in the back so right here is the wiper then going forward a nice um, uh, I like this roof spoiler very much some glossy plastic here and even up there look beautiful LED light on the number break uh, on the on the brake LED light up here then you have the radio antenna I like the fact that it's not so long and it's small and nice like a shark tail it look beautiful also on the roof you can add some extra storage here without any problem it's chrome and also it look nice in chrome make the car look much more nicer so yeah that's something that to keep in mind and also they add a lot of chrome to the car so you can see chrome there chrome on the roof chrome around the windows chrome down there so pretty nice yeah i like that i like this 
kind of combination and also the lines in the back look beautiful I mean the way they, they make those lines here look nice here another line that come uh, on the other side so it looked nice the chrome look nice kind of a fake exhaust I, I don't know what they try to do here but yeah make the car much more interesting in the back six parking sensors this is a plus for the car reverse light down here some light reflector so here's the reverse light and also it's LED light just keep in mind um, and other than that some plastic some nice gray plastic down here and if we go a little bit forward guys here we have LED lights on the number plate keep in mind this is another plus uh, for the car that the car come with LED lights on the number plate and we have the exhaust pipe here on the left side so I think you can see it better from here so look pretty nice and also reverse light also on the other side so we have reverse light on the both sides pretty nice and the exhaust pipes that's the back of the car in my opinion um, they did a good job it looked nice now going forward um, and I want to talk a little bit of down part here they add this plastic guys as you know if you see on my channel I always talk about this part here because it's very very practical it helps a lot to protect the paint of the car in time and uh, the rust will not come so easy you can last the car will last longer and those plastic around the wheels are super practical and I wish I have it on my car as well now also this continuing until the front some chrome design but other than that the plastic it's all the way to the front and even here this is very very good in this place here it happened a lot of rust in time with cars but the fact that they put it a little bit outside like that it's great it's great 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 very good I mean you know I know some people don't like that but you have to choice you want a nice car that can last uh, not so long you have to repaint it and problems and stuff or you want a car that lasts longer and also it look nice I don't know I like it and also if you scratch if someone scratch your car on the side you can change this plastic very easily and very cheap and you don't have to repaint the car it is something to keep in to keep in mind also some nice uh, elements here on the side chrome glossy plastic that make the car much more interesting on the side uh, other than that I think I'm, I'm, I'm finished with this plastic and I think you understand what I want to say also chrome design around the windows look pretty nice tinted windows in the back and yeah you can see it also from this position anyway keyless entrance guys just keep in mind just have to put your finger here lock and unlock the car without any problem just with your key in your pocket uh, I don't know if I, if I show you the key I will show you a little bit later it's in the car but anyway keyless entrance lock and unlock without any problem and also I think I'm not sure yeah let me show you the key right now this is the key also the key you will find it on other cars for example on Renault Zoe if you didn't see the full review with the new Renault Zoe check it out on my channel I have it there and also if you lock the car you have electronic uh, folding mirror electric folding mirror so that's something also another extra cool feature <laughs> if you buy from Mercedes a car you have to pay a lot of money for all these little things so I think you know already blind spot technology you have to pay extra uh, big windows great visibility LED lights here on the mirror pretty nice and down here you have a camera because this car have 360 degrees camera it has a camera down here under the mirror it has a camera in the back camera in the front I will show you in the moment uh, but other than that side car look super nice and we will go to the rims I think the rims fit very well with the car as well and we will go right now to the rims and we will talk a little bit about those rims we have continental tires right here great tires uh, we have 17 inch rims I think you can also see it there beautiful design I mean the design it's, it's quite nice it's kind of classic for Renault it fits very well with Renault uh, we have ventilated brake discs right here in the front pretty big brake discs that they look quite nice but something that I want to tell you is that in the back guys the car come with the drums brake uh, they have drums the car come with drums 
and oh, I know many people say drums, why drums, why drums, why drums? Because you don't need brake discs in the back. The car brakes 80%, maybe more in the front. So in the back, they try to make it lighter, the car. They try to make it much more uh, cheaper. And I think you don't have to worry about those. Also, they last much longer than the normal ones. Anyway, uh, let's go forward. Up here on the windscreen, you have a camera that can read the traffic speed limit also. It's great for lane assist and stuff like that. Going forward in the front here, you have the LED Pure Vision from Renault, the latest technology, guys. Uh, and right here in the front, I just want to show you that. I will show you a little bit later. But we have here uh, LED light on the, on the turn signals and LED light, full LED light, also the daylight. I don't know if you can see it so well, but it's there around the side. On the camera, I cannot see it so well. And also the high beam and low beam, full LED, the newest technology from Renault. So in terms of light, it's fantastic. The car, it's, it's great. It's great. The lights are uh, pretty good. And also you can see it from the front side. You can make an idea the way the front uh, look. Also, but I, this is one of, I like very much, this is one of the most beautiful car made by Renault, in my opinion, and it's a great SUV with a great price, so if you want an SUV right now on the market, I think this one, it's, it's, it's a great, great option, and right now I just open up the lights, I don't know if you can see it so well because of the light, but I think you can make an idea the way they look, I think they look nice. Anyway, full LED light, just keep in mind and also have some nice design, triangle design here, beautiful lines, some chrome design insertion that make the car much more interesting. Yeah, now let me close the light, let me spare some battery guys, and let's go forward. All right, in the front again, I see the car have some lines here on the hood, quite interesting lines make the car look much more interesting and fancy with those lines on the hood and yeah also the chrome as I told you before look nice here we have the Renault logo pretty interesting and under the Renault logo the front camera as I told you 360 degrees camera also in the front and then you have the grill here that come the air come inside to the radiator and then cool down the engine down here we have the radar for uh, emergency brake at control and all that fancy feature uh, safety feature <laughs> I'm saying better and here you have the air intakes of course the air go directly to the to the to the engine to cool it down a little bit and then down there you have some uh, gray nice interesting grill also something that I like about this car and make the car look much more sportier look at this guys look there the air intakes oh my god they look like a fancy super sporty car those air intakes are something really interesting and they are so big you can see how big they are so much air coming inside here that help the car aerodynamic help the car consumption they are very useful pretty awesome by the way I forget to tell you we have six parking sensors also in the front again something to keep in mind but those air intakes really impress me on this car they look so nice really nice anyway let's go forward guys if you have question just ask me uh, I'm really happy to answer you all let me show you the engine guys right now we go to the engine bay I think here on the right side I don't remember or oh, here super simple to open this um, frunk and this engine bay here so you can see the engine here I don't know if for most of you are it's so important but I still want to show you uh, yeah let's go in the back now let's go inside guys to show you the space in the trunk also the button is down here and the car come with a manual lift gate in the back so it's not automatic something to keep in mind again uh, in my opinion the entrance quite big so you can carry plenty of stuff 
uh, here without any problem. Um, it's not huge as I see in other cars, but it's still pretty big. So you can still put here a washing machine, a fridge and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, it's quite okay, quite okay. For the size of the car, the, the entrance and the trunk, it's, it's quite okay. You have some handles here, uh, up here. Then you have this protection for the trunk. I will get it out in a second and I will show you the way it looks without it. I like the plastic here, some plastic at the entrance. You have a flat floor, that's good. You have a light here, a normal bulb light right here on the left side. On the right side, some hooks, no 12 volt here, nothing. You have the safety uh, pack here. And then under the floor, you have another 20 centimeters. So, no, more than 20, 30, 35 centimeters. Anyway, very deep, a lot of space here. Really, really a lot of space. And also you can take this out. If you wanna take this out, you can take this out without problem. And you have huge, huge space there. Super practical, I like that. Now, I know you are curious what it's under this here. And if we look under this, look at this, man. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Look how much space is there. You can put a spare tire there, but if you don't want a spare tire, you can put this repair kit and you still have huge space around it. So you can choice. The fact that you can choice, it's awesome. And the fact that you have so much space down there, and then you have another here, 30 centimeter, and then you have this flat floor here. It's awesome. I mean, I like the trunk. This is one of my favorite things on this car until now i like the trunk also i like the design it's not bad the design now let me take this out and show you how the trunk look without this protection all right guys the protection is out now you can make a better idea how the trunk look like and the space here i think it's quite good the space it's quite quite good plenty of space big entrance uh pretty awesome not bad not bad at all so yeah now if you want to fold down the seats there you can have it 60 40. Uh, the downside is that you don't have to fold down only the middle part that's a downside um, if you want to carry long items for example but you can fold it also from back here it's very simple press this up and then push it in the front yeah let me go maybe it's something here on the side Anyway, just fold it like that, push it like that, and then just fold it down. You can put this seat belt on the side, and then they are almost, almost flat floor. Actually, it is a flat floor here, guys. Look at this. Look at the space here. It's quite big, and you have a flat floor. That's a good thing. Then you have some storage space here left, still left a lot of space on the legs room. Not so bad, not so bad. This seats, it's a little bit too much in the back. I will have to check it out to see. Um, but still, um, still pretty impressive. I mean, look at this, look at the space. I think it's quite good. I think it's quite big space here in the back. I don't know about you, but I like it. And also you have a flat floor. Flat, flat floor, pretty nice space, quite impressive. You can see also from the side, the way the car looks from the side here. I think it looks pretty nice. I like the rims. Look at the rims, how they shine in the sun. Pretty impressive. Anyway, let's go in. Um, yeah, let's test this seat. I want to test this seat. I always want to want to put the seats in normal position we have manual adjustable seats here just like that you see I still have place for my legs and then this is the normal position now I can go in the back and I can check out the real space so now look at this now you, you have more space here as I expected so anyway now I think you already make an idea about that let me fold this back and then we will continuing but before I fold it back I want to show you the doors so here you have one piece big windows uh, this window it's a pretty big then you have some plastic here on the doors in the back also here is plastic it's a nice design but it's plastic here we have soft material this is something that I like where your arm are resting it's soft material and I like also those buttons look at the buttons super nice with this chrome design there look like a woody 
pretty nice some space here storage space and the speaker right here on the door so the door look also very nice now let me fold it back and then we will continue all right guys just fold everything back and then we will go inside the entrance in the car it's quite big enough to go inside no problem here and then let's check out the seats we have this nice combination of leather with fabric material right here the seats look nice i like this white white um insertion here they they make this white leather with black so it's a nice combination and also it looks pretty good the design of the seats they look nice uh, and also I like these stitches the way they look you have some side support here that's pretty great and also we have fabric material they are pretty pretty nice as you touch it the quality it's quite good you have isofix for kids of course here in the back and yeah they look nice I like the design you can see the design it's quite interesting there pretty nice design on the seats and also if you look in the front at the back seats here you have some rubber to protect some storage space here and also in the front you have this nice white insertion here this i think this is kind of a uh, yeah i don't know if it's leather but it's, it's quite nice not sure what is the material let me go inside here and also here let me show you you have a handle you have a hook here also here you have some led lights pretty nice here on the roof and then going down here you have some vents whoa you remember these vents on the bmw on the old bmw from 94 92 93 they look the same and they feel good i mean the quality it's quite good i like it then you have 12 volt port you have here usb to usb port pretty nice very useful i like that the renault had a lot of usb ports let me go inside oh another cool stuff that i see right now is that here in the middle you don't have such a big bump the transmission tunnel is super small you can put your legs there i like that i like that it's small then another cool stuff that i forget to show you is that the fact that you can adjust those seats the way you want it man it's pretty crazy look at this i adjust it and i make more space there in the trunk this is huge this is huge man i mean this is great you can you are able to adjust all that in every position you want oh my god i like that you can see that pretty cool so if you want to carry many things in the trunk you fold down the seats way in the in the front and then you put it in the back if you don't have passengers in the back anyway let me close the door here you have two speakers by the way one here and one there just to keep in mind let's see the space head space four fingers no problem no problem and the visibility yeah it's not the perfect one you have a small window here a big one it's not the perfect visibility because you have this one kind of in your head you know and when you turn the head yeah if you go a little bit forward it's no problem but yeah a little bit the visibility i wish it was better here uh, but other than that the headspace the comfort on the seat it's quite good because it has this side support here that's quite nice and i like it i like the side support i like the soft material on the doors now the seats uh, the space on the legs it's quite good as you can see right here good space on the legs i can stretch my legs in the front i can play with my legs a little bit almost stretch it out so great great space on my legs in the front also you can see the seats are in normal position kind of also by the way i forget to tell you that here in the middle you don't have any center armrest this is kind of a small downside for me i don't care on my cars about that but maybe some people care going in the middle i like that i told you before in the middle no center tunnel you know the cars have good and bad so you can have a perfect car you should have something that you don't like three fingers up here uh stretch my hand in the left side not so much stretch my hand in the right side not so much three people here mm, probably two people it's more uh as a go so i prefer to have two people in the back i think it's perfect also for the long trips no problem or maybe two people and one kid in the middle 
that will be more uh, likely the quality on the roof it's super soft and nice i like the quality it's good and then we will go in the front and i will show you also the front part uh and there guys you have uh this gorgeous dashboard let me put this on the side i think you can see better man let me put it down there so you can see better now um yeah the dashboard design is quite clean nice everything it's in perfect position you have this new big multimedia system tablet it's huge and nice and i see it on the other new renault and it's fantastic i was really impressed with it and i will also show you right now and we will go in the front and we will talk about other stuff in the front there so yeah um by the way i like also the steering wheel it's great uh, and also the cockpit it's super super nice so let's go in the front guys all right guys so now let's go in the front open the door huge entrance here big door uh we have one big window and another small one right here um yeah you should have a good visibility because this window is pretty big now this time if in the back was plastic on the doors here in the front is no more plastic it's soft material right here on the upper side you have soft material everywhere so i mean the quality it's super good even here you have soft material i think it's leather here uh, anyway great great material also here it's soft and leather and nice so all over up here it's soft material but until here and leather it's it's gorgeous the quality it's much better big storage in the door you have a speaker there handle of course also here handles look nice feel nice and not even the handles but look at those buttons they look super nice and also you have folding mirrors electric adjustable mirror and yeah lock on lock so they feel also good when you touch them they feel good so the door it's nice going inside here normal pedals no aluminum pedals and stuff like that um, here you have a button I think it's for the um, reverse uh, wind window uh, when in the winter it can uh, defrost it and then you have those buttons here I like the way they, they integrate it here pretty nice lane assist you have the heating steering wheel I like that heating steering wheel also you can adjust the lights the brightness of the screen and stuff like that and here you have soft material they are integrated in soft material so here on this part it's soft nice material now going forward uh, look at those seats the seats design in the front it's super interesting it's kind of a sporty but in the same time comfortable i don't know they look nice they look kind of sporty because of this headrest but here they start to be uh, in the comfort zone you have side support you have the same nice leather uh, with white insertion then soft fabric material in the middle and i like this fabric material i like the way they do it a little bit harder down here a little bit softer here on your back pretty nice and the side support look gorgeous so great job in my opinion they did a great job also with this headrest they look nice they look clean and beautiful manual adjustable seats as you see it before you have to adjust it manually but other than that the seats are pretty nice then down here you still have a speaker i think here integrated quite interesting and then you can adjust the steering wheel manual from here forward backward side the way you want it then you have this vent here on the side but uh, before going there let me show you that that armrest right here that you can adjust the armrest it's soft it's nice and you can also open it up yeah let me show you here you have a button you have to push it you open it up and then you have a small space here oh but it's long small but long space there where you can put different stuff then going forward two cup holders the key you already see it i think yes and then you have two cup holders there with a little bit of chrome around here pretty nice a space for your key here then you have electronic handbrake auto hold that's a super plus for the cars these days and i like it very much now going forward let me go inside let me close the door all right the doors you can hear it for yourself the quality it's okay and 
guys let me finish with center console i like the fact that here is down you know it's down and then up come this gear shifter and it's up because it should be like that it should be in the perfect position to change the gears and i like the fact that they put it a little bit upper so it's also nice clean they have some stitches there leather pretty nice some chrome design it look nice and also even here on the side you have soft material here quite interesting soft material here soft material here here you have the char wireless charging you can charge your phone wireless down here pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome and also 12 volt port usb port auxiliary in a lot of lot of nice cool technology inside this uh, capture uh, it's quite impressive quite impressive guys now the buttons heated seats in the front of course then you have start stop engine button then here ch changing the, the driving modes i will show you also here you have the parking assist then you have the cameras I will show you also 360 degrees camera and then yeah those are the button soft material even here on the dash everywhere it's soft 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 nice 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 just keep in mind i like this insertion here you know it's kind of a nice chrome plastic but it look nice they make some nice trim there you have the vents here integrated around this big multimedia system it's like a tablet it's pretty nice and also there you have the vent here you have the vent it feel nice it's good it's just where it should supposed to be now um yeah before we go forward i want to tell you this is the start uh, start engine button right here and here we have soft material around it soft material even here so it's impressive down here you have the glow box guys pretty big oh my god not big it's huge oh my god look at my leg look at my hand i stretched my hand there. didn't expect that also you have a light up here so it's quite nice pretty big glow box great job man i mean great job i didn't expect to be so big uh yeah going forward the steering wheel as i said adjust it the way you want it super simple forward backward or yeah or up down forward backward the way you want it you can adjust it here perfectly you have also pedals to change the gear manually if you want to here in the back uh the steering wheel it's nice leather uh you have these great stitches you have good grip here you see the grip they make it special and it'll look nice nice big here this part up here is bigger so you can see better the, the the cockpit here it's smaller down here you have also the buttons to control the different functions right here pretty awesome um yeah going forward guys up here you have the the mirrors so you have a great visibility in the back in the mirror quite good visibility yeah and then up here you have an LED light let me show you you have LED lights here but I have to start the engine I think in order to show you that but you have LED lights here maybe yeah, let me show you anyway it doesn't work I don't know why it's not working but it's LED up here and other than that you have an SOS button up there you have also here a mirror LED light also here and down pretty awesome you have a microphone up here great 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 now press the start button and start the engine right here now you have uh, behind here i almost forget to show you behind here you have these controllers for the multimedia system and also for the volume it's right here behind the steering wheel and you can change the music and stuff like that so that's something to keep in mind uh, as well and yeah what are you doing just shut up okay here you can change also the language you click ok to the multimedia system but before i want to before i want to show you that ah nine from here look from here you change the radio station from here you change from here from this wheel you change the radio station from here you change the volume so just shut up okay now the visibility on the windows it's quite good it's big mirror so you have a great visibility around the windows no problem with the visibility 
maybe a little bit of blind spot in the back there but you have a reverse camera you don't have to worry about uh, nothing so yeah now it's working look at this LED lights up here as I told you before and not only that it's working but look at this amazing climatic system I like very much this climatic system you find it on all the new Renaults and also on the Dacia Duster I find it and it's great I mean it's gorgeous I like it uh, it's so simple to use and you can put it on auto you can change different settings here it's super simple to use and to be honest i like it very very much the way they they do it like that um i like it i like it also you have the buttons here for different function ac stuff like that it's super nice if you look closely uh, the quality it's quite good and it look nice here I already show you that those buttons but I didn't show you the camera so when you press this or when you go in reverse or when you press this button here you will see the 360 degrees camera so this car have 360 degrees camera around it and every time you drive you go in the reverse you can see from the side camera you can see wherever you want you can see it's, it's quite interesting you can I don't know if you can press it here but no let me go back here you can see on the side but how can you see on the other side I don't know not sure about that but anyway you have 360 degrees and you can still park the car without any problem you can see what it's on the ground and stuff like that and then the other button that I want to show you is this one right here from this button here you can change different functions uh, on driving I don't know let me go back or let me close this just like that now all right here you press this one and you can go in sport mode in echo mode you have this my sense sport mode or in echo mode every time you change this you can see on the cockpit is changing as well sport mode with red and this is the echo mode so you can choose the way you want it it's quite interesting you can see also the display there it's changing so that's pretty awesome uh, anyway now that you see that also the buttons you already see on the steering wheel you can change different function and from here you can change there the new uh, digital display in the middle you can change left right and then you go up down you can see different stuff energy flow and stuff like that consumption oil and yeah it's, it's quite quite interesting that you are able to do that and then going on the side and here you can change the radio you can see the car off-roading and you can see the navigation here press ok and then you have it right there on the screen so yeah that that's pretty pretty cool that you can you are able to change to customize it a little bit it's not the best as you find it on the new Renault Zoe for example uh, the new cockpit but it's still good you can see the, the the traffic speed limit you can read it you have the lane assist you have all kind of um, yeah information right here in the front so you can customize somehow in many ways so anyway this is the the um, cockpit guys i want to go forward a little bit i think i show you almost everything uh just the multimedia system i want to show you a little bit it's super simple here is the home screen and you have the, the media i want to talk a little bit about this tablet i mean uh multimedia system it's a huge one nine inch display it's a very big and if you go here to navigation you can see that the navigation it's very responsive guys you don't have so much lag i mean it's much better than than uh many cars and it's one of I think between the best in top five on the on the market today and it's quite good it's big you have a great visibility from the driver point of view from here you can see it's towards driver somehow and you have a great visibility and I like it very much also you can customize the way you want it going to home again and here you have phone you have media you have here all kind of safety features that come the car um, active braking you have following distance adaptive cruise control traffic sign lane assist blind spot oh so many so many you have the weather also it's connected to the internet you can go here to echo mode you already see it that 
pretty awesome. That's that's great that you are able to adjust all that stuff. Going back here, and when you press this button, you go to the kind of the application of the phone, and you have navigation, music, phone application here. You can see the video and photos uh, through the USB, the car information. You have all the information of the car driving echo mode and stuff like that tire pressure then you have down here the system of the car updates license factory stuff like that then you go to settings you can change the language here on the settings you go to system settings you change the language and all that stuff to the system if you go to vehicle you can change the car configuration driving assistance you already see it before parking assistant you can see that super awesome you can activate it, deactivate, easy parking assist. You have parking assist, multi-sense. This is the multi-sense driving mode and car configuration. You have here, you can configure it, your car, your wipers and stuff like that. Anyway, don't want to go too much into details. This is the multimedia system. I don't want to make the video so much longer. Uh, but other than that, uh, to be honest, the car is quite nice. I like the quality. I like that the chrome, the way they integrate the chrome almost in many things inside the car. And the car looks pretty good. The comfort on those seats, it's, it's quite good. And also I like the center console here. I like the a lot of stuff uh, about this car. Let me close it right now. I like a lot of stuff about this new capture and the the visibility the tall driving position uh the way um they add a lot of led lights a lot of new technology that if you buy a premium car you have to pay much more for the car you will never buy a mercedes with all these options at this price thirty thousand dollars i don't know i you you can buy it you can't uh, but you can buy a Renault if you want these options and you don't want to pay double, it's, it's a great option. So depend what car you want and I said in my video, I like the car very much and I am impressed with stuff and, and you, people say that, why I say like that? Because when I review a car, I think about what's the price of the car and what can offer. And I think they offer a lot for the price and I think every car have minus and plus but most of the time we have to see the positive uh, things and uh, we have to to test the car you i really recommend you to go test the cars see the car test the car drive the car uh, all the cars that you want to buy it see which one it's better for you guys and then you can buy it you know just just see not all the cars fit for every person so that yeah, just keep in mind anyway about this car a great car i think it's a great buy for the money a lot of great technology renault step up the game great multimedia system nice cockpit i wish it was the different one from renault zoe but still good and yeah the comfort the quality the technology it's there it's great even the trunk you see the trunk it's it's gorgeous and what can i say guys i hope it was a helpful review if you like it please like it share it also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest car that come on the market really mean a lot for me if you subscribe and also thank you for watching i hope it was helpful for you guys uh i hope you get some information from my video and uh, yeah Again, thank you to all of you, all of my subscribers, all of my view. I wait you soon in the next video. Stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.